So my publisher uh, over a week ago told me I need to have an ending, a last chapter to my book that has more impact than what I currently have written. Um, so I have spent a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of time thinking about what would be in this final chapter, which I think is chapter 17. And here it is. Since making this book announcement back in December and totally writing this book in secret, nobody knew, not even my parents, nobody knew I was writing this book until I wrote it. <clears throat> but since December, I have talked to a lot of you, um, dozens. Um, pretty close to 50-50 as far as guys versus gals. Uh, but all of you that are adult singles and have uh, expressed to me, sometimes very colorfully, uh, your frustrations with dating, being an adult single, um, and all of the things that come with that, whether it's parenting, loneliness, solitude, challenges with dating. Um, but I decided that I was going to summarize all of these conversations that I've had with you, my uh, lovely, undateable friends and fans. And the final chapter of this book is going to be titled Willing Versus Worthy. So the number one, literally number one thing that I hear, this, this theme from both men and women is they feel like they are worthy to date. Um, look, even I have to admit about me, I feel like I'm really worthy. I feel like I'm really worthy of someone's time uh, in dating. And so it kind of begs the question, if there are so many of us who feel that we are genuinely worthy, then why are we not, uh, A, dating at all, uh, B, why are we uh, not in a committed long-term relationship um, or at least just maybe dating someone consistently or, or dating consistently. If we're so worthy, then why not me? I know that you've asked yourself that because I have talked to lots of you and have had some version of this conversation, if not exactly those words. Why not me? So the other side of the conversation um, that I've had, um, not, not all the time, but with some of you is there's a difference between being worthy and being willing. And here's what that means. You can be very worthy, but not willing. And I have, I personally have encountered that in dating a lot, um, <laughs> it's almost like I seem to attract it, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm that person. Funny how that can work. So you can be um, 
really attractive, really smart, really uh, healthy. You can be uh, financially secure. You can be all of these things that in your mind, you feel like, man, this makes me a great catch. It makes me worthy of the right person's attention. And that worthiness is a box that you that you, you you close yourself into it. And if you were more willing to give yourself some room, just 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 move the walls of this box out a little bit. I'm not saying lower your standards or even change your criteria. I'm just saying just move the walls out a little bit. I think what you're going to find is that the more willing you are, the more worthy people are going to naturally just fall into that, that extra space that you have given yourself. So, I don't know, I guess it's kind of a chicken or egg. I feel like it's more important to be willing than it is to be worthy. Um, in my company, uh, we have we have an acronym, we call it MIB. You probably remember the movie uh, Men in Black, Will Smith. Well, MIB for us stands Make It Better. And as a company, we have to be willing to accept criticism from our own clients. We have to be willing to pause ourselves and look at a system or a process or something um, that is cultural or that is a, a standard for our company and that we feel is great and be willing to look at it and and decide, can we make this better? So if you're a single person and you feel worthy, are you willing to make yourself better? Are you willing? Are you willing? Are you willing? Are you willing to make a change? Um, and you know, the older you are, the harder it is, which I think is total bullshit. But, um, there are a lot of things that I have challenged people in these one-on-one -on -one conversations I've had to ask them, are you willing to change this? Are you willing to change this bad habit? Are you willing to start this good habit? Um, something that everybody talks about that single is am I aesthetically pleasing? Am I attractive? Can I actually attract someone? You know, am I, uh, do I work out? Do I exercise? Do I eat right? Um, or do I just say the hell with it all and eat bonbons and Oreos and <laughs> right? Right, those types of things. Are you willing to, you know, commit to a higher standard of health and fitness for yourself? Are you willing to commit to a higher level of uh, financial security for yourself? Um, are you willing to, you know, you know, pick a topic that you feel like you could improve upon if you felt like it would move you from, you know, undateable to dateable? Or is it perhaps something that as worthy as you think you are, uh, you don't know. Maybe there's something you can improve upon. Um, I have been challenged, in fact, here recently by um, an individual um, about my worthiness. And I, I can tell you that my self-perception of my worthiness as a dating person was, uh, let's say... <laughs> put on the guillotine uh, for questioning. Um, 
Of course, I say that with humor. And again, no matter how worthy you think you are, are you willing to make yourself better and to do so in whatever that area is that can truly make you not just more dateable, but just makes you a better person. So that was long, that was kind of rambly, but that is going to be uh, Dominic Damaski, my final chapter. And I'm going to be working on that for submission, submission to you here soon. And to everybody else, have a very happy Friday. I love you. I love your messages, your phone calls, your encouragement. Um, and single lives do matter. And we are not in the shadows. And just know that there is a person out there, a voice that hears you and is communicating to the world um, for you and about all of us. Love you.